Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be studying about the rounding of numbers. So in my previous lectures you must have uh, understood and studied about what the place value digits are. I did a video on ordering and numbers as well and then the, my last video was on number patterns. So my today's video is on rounding of numbers. So let's see how it, how we round off numbers to nearest tens nearest to nearest 10 nearest 100 and nearest thousand so we're going to be doing three types of rounding offs which is nearest 10 nearest thousand uh, nearest hundred and then to the nearest thousand So for each of these um, rounding offs, we're going to see the number or the place after it. So for the nearest 10, we're going to observe the digits at the ones place, right? Ones place. I'll tell you how we're going to do it, so don't worry. Let me give you a brief overview. So at the nearest 10, we're going to look at the digit at the ones place and then decide when uh, will it be rounding off to a higher number or going back and for the nearest hundred we're going to observe the digit at the tens place for every place we're going to see the place after it okay so for the nearest thousand we're going to look at the digit at the hundreds place right okay so for rounding of the rule goes as if the digit at ones place, tens place or hundreds place, okay. If the digit, it goes like that, if the digit, right. So uh, for rounding off there are a specific rule is that if the digit at ones place, tens place or hundreds place is 5 or greater than 5, then we are going to round off at a bigger number. at a bigger number if the digit is below 5 is not 5 because it means that this sign with the uh, bar underneath means that it's 5 equal to or greater than 5 right okay so if it's below 5 if the digit is smaller than 5 then we're going to round off at the lower number how it goes, I will tell you. So, we are going to do it at the nearest 10. Let's suppose we have a number which is 577. And we have to round it off to the nearest 10. So, for the nearest 10, we have, nearest 10 means the digit at this position. We have to either increase it or round off. So we are going to observe the digit at the ones place. So if the digit at the ones place is greater than 5, or we have to see if it's greater than 5 or lower than 5. So 7 is bigger, greater than 5. So we are going to go to the nearest 0 number, which is 580, nearest tens. Okay, nearest tens. Nearest tens means the whole with the 0 okay which is closer if you see or to the number line i'll explain it to you with the number line i guess it will be better for you to understand right for example we have here 575 here we have 576 577 578 5 79 and 580 and here we have um, 574 573 572 571 and 570 so look at the digit 577 which digit is which number is it closer to is it closer to 580 or is it closer to 570 570 is here and 580 is here. So which digit is it closer, which number is it, it is closer to 580.
So we're going to write um, round off at 580s. Okay. So the nearest tens would be 10 and 0 with it. Okay. So nearest tens means with the zeros afterwards. Okay. So that the nearest with tens will be 580. Let's suppose. Let's suppose we had the number 572. All right. So its nearest. So its nearest 10 would be 2 is uh, smaller than 5. Here it's 572. Nearest 10 would be 570. It is closer to it. So it will be 570. Got it? So now we're going to do nearest 100. So for the nearest 100, we look at the digit at the tens place. Nearest 100 means, nearest 100 means, 100 could be, uh, whichever digit will belong to 100 and then 0, 0, 0. Okay. So let's suppose we have a number which is 27, 500, uh, 2756. Let's suppose we have a number 2756 and we have to round off to the nearest 100, right? So, the placement goes like ones, tens, hundreds and thousands, right? So, in this case, we have to see the number, the digit at the tens place, okay? So, what is this? 5. I told you if it's 5 or greater then it will uh, go to the bigger 10 bigger 100 okay so you see that 5 is here it's 5 5 means that you should move on to the bigger 100 so that will be 20 you're going to add 1 to it that will be 28 100 56 will go to 000, zero, zero okay so you're going to see the digit at the tens place it will go to 2800 Let's take another example, 57,262. Again, we have to see the digit at the tens place. This is ones, this is tens, this is hundreds. Near, for nearest hundred, we have to see the, the digit at the tens place. So tens is six. It's six is greater than five, right? So you're going to move to the bigger hundred. That will be 57,000. It was 200, it will become 300, right? This is how the rounding off works. Now, let's move on to nearest 1000. The rest of the numbers remain the same. The numbers before the hundreds will remain the same, okay? All right, so let's suppose to the nearest 1000. Okay, so let's suppose we have a number 80. 882,856, uh, right? So now we have to uh, round off to the nearest thousand. And for the nearest thousand, we look at the digit at the hundreds place. Okay? So now, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Alright. So we, we will look at the digit. Here at the hundreds place it's 8. So 8 is greater than 5. So we're going to round off at the bigger 1000. 88,000. 8,800 and that will become. What will become? 88 eight will remain the same and then it will be 3000. The nearest. So 856 is closer to 3000 now. It's not closer to 2000. So you're going to move it to 3000. If you have another number like 719299 and you have to round off to the nearest thousand here it's ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So you look at you will look at the digit at the hundreds place. So it's 2. 2 is smaller than 5. It's not greater. So you're going to move towards the nearest thousand. The nearest thousand to 9000 is 9000 okay 200 299 is closer to 
9000 so it will become 719000 okay this is the nearest thousand to 900 and uh, 9299 okay so let me do an example i think it might be uh, you might be able to understand it well so let's suppose we have these digits 3 4 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 so we have this eight digit number we have to round off to the nearest 10 let's take the same number and we'll going to round off to other different digits okay so we have to round off to the nearest 10 so for the nearest 10 we'll look at the position this is the tens so for the nearest we'll going to look at the position at once so it's 3 3 is smaller than 5 what are you going to write it now we're going to write the rest of the number as same 348925 so the nearest 10 to 73 would be 70 right okay take the same number which is 348925730 now we have to round it off to the nearest Hundred. Okay, so here it's ones, tens, hundreds, and now for the hundred position, uh, hundred uh, to the nearest hundred, we're going to look at the digit at the tens place. So it's seven. Seven is greater than five. So we're going to the nearest hundred to five uh, hundred would be six hundred. Five hundred seventy-three. The nearest hundred would be six hundred. So it will become three, four, eight, nine, two. Six hundred, right? Six so hundred is closer to the five seventy three. So that's how it becomes the nearest hundred. Okay. Now let's suppose I'm going to consider. The, uh, I'm going to take the same example for all these three seventy three. Now you have to do it for the nearest thousand. Okay. Now ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we're going to observe the digit at the hundreds position for the nearest thousand. So it's five. What I told you, if the digit is five or uh, greater, then you will round off, round it off to the next thousand. Okay. So here it's five. So it, what will it be? The nearest thousand to two hundred five, two thousand five hundred seventy-three would be. You know that three thousand. Yes. Thirty three four eight nine. I'm going to write instead of two. You're going to write three thousand. Right. So we did the nearest ten. We did the nearest hundred and nearest thousand. Let me give a, re a quick recap. For a rounding off to the nearest ten, you look at the digit at the ones place. For the nearest hundred, you look at the digit at the tens place. And for thousand, you look to the digit at the Hundred place and this then decide whether it will remain the same. It become two thousand or three thousand, right? I hope you understood the example. I hope you understood the example and you will be able to do it in your notebooks. So meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care and bye bye.